Right now, I'm John Cronkite here. Now the news, the Dow still down 300 as we end this second hour of uh, Liquid Lunch today. And uh, we are joined once again by the host and founder of the Behind the, New Behind the Headlines newscast seen on YouTube. you got to check it out. Former Mrs. Florida, Karen Turk joins us right now. Hello, Karen. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So glad to be here. So, Karen, there is a lot in the news these days when people continue to post all of these inaccuracies, talking about whether you wear a mask, don't wear a mask, vaccinate, don't vaccinate. And it all seems to come back in one way or another to this little cabal of people, the WHO, Bill Gates, Anthony Fauci, and China. What have you found in your deep investigations behind the headlines? You know, there's so much, and it all ties back to these billionaire globalists, just like Black Lives Matter. Last episode of Behind the Headlines, this week's episode, ties a lot of this COVID-19 pandemic right straight back to Bill Gates. And Bill Gates is the puppet master of the pandemic. And this is something that's been on my radar screen for a while, but I didn't realize just how prophetic it was. I mean, you'd think he had a crystal ball or he was a psychic right down to, you know, the the uh, the money that was given, you know, billions of dollars, three point seven billion dollars was given to um, the world economic, uh, you know, during the, the World Economic Forum. You know, he he's been involved in so much of this behind the scenes. And when Obama gave this three point seven million dollar grant to a nonprofit, it was actually given to a virology lab in Wuhan. So this goes back to the Obama administration and things that they were developing. And, you know, Bill Gates really wants to be the hero of vaccinating. And he's been singing the song for a long time. But some of the things that really were eye opening is that by 2018, when impeachment wasn't working and all these things that the Democrats were throwing around, you know, Donald Trump has been their obstacle here as the president. Obama was on their team. And all of a sudden, he's working on a, you know, pandemic explained for Netflix. And in there, they're talking about a novel coronavirus. It's a wet market. It's Wuhan. It's back. It's it's so unbelievably psychic that it really makes you raise your eyebrows and realize that, you know, the people that are behind this, Bill Gates and this billionaire club, are the ones that really are pulling the strings. And it's pretty unbelievable. And now, um, I'm sure you've reported on this behind the headlines, and I, I urge my viewers... Um, when you're looking for some real news, you're looking for some information that you're not going to get from the lamestream media, I ask you to go to YouTube and check out Behind the Headlines because Karen does in-depth reporting and it's fantastic. Uh, Karen, uh, Bill Gates has also been quite public with his uh, thought process that uh, the, the, the globe is overpopulated and he mm -hmm. wants to control population. He's a uh, avowed advocate for population control. And it sure seems to me and many others in the uh, media that if we start vaccinating people, they may be able to put something in us that they can decide when to exterminate us. Absolutely. And, you know, little known fact, and it's in my in-depth investigation that a lot of us don't know, is Bill Gates' father was actually the president of Planned Parenthood. Did you know that, John? I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. So, these wow. are the things. These are the things that you need to uncover. This is why we want to dig in and we want to get the facts that you don't hear. You don't hear anywhere on the media. This is something that we found and really is eye-opening. So he grew up and he's openly said... I grew up with the mentality that population control should be in top of mind. And, you know, you know about Planned Parenthood. We all know about the agenda. All they do Parenthood. is kill black babies. It's, it's genocide. It's yeah. genocide, and that's been their agenda all along. And they can try to pass it off as a social issue, and they can try to pass it off as social justice, just like Bill Gates is trying to pass off social justice as vaccines. When you look at the more sinister motives here, there's a lot more at play, and does anybody really think this billionaire is in touch with the reality of the everyday American? He's not. And the billionaire's club that he belongs to, he actually has a secret organization, which you may or may not have heard about. I don't. This has been peppered in the news here and there, but you got to dig. You really got to dig. And you'd find out about the good club. 
And the good club is comprised by some very interesting players. You've got George Soros, Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, Ted Turner, all these people that have billions and billions of dollars that also have really strong media connections. And they get together and they meet in secret. And this came out in about 2009. Somebody got tipped off that they have these secret meetings. And what is on the top of their agenda at the secret meeting? Population control. Hmm. So it's, um, it's a really tangled web. And if you add up these billionaires together, you're talking about $125 billion collectively of these members of Bill Gates' secret society, the Good Club. And I'm going to be doing more expose work on the Good Club itself, so you got to stay tuned. For All that. right. Well, but listen. You got to let us. You got to yeah. let us know when you're posting stuff, and then we'll follow up and we'll try to re-perpetrate it. And then we got to have you on to talk about it. But thanks for hanging around with us, Karen. I really appreciate it. You're the bomb. And um, Thank you. you guys out there, you got to go check out Karen's work at Behind the Headlines because uh, she's talking about things that you're not going to hear about on, on other places. And that's why we love her so much. Thank you so much, Karen Turk. Thanks so much. Love you guys, too. Talk to you soon. All right. Um, John Tobacco has left the building. He will be back shortly for a, a special extended edition of Liquid Lunch. The WTF will be held only on Facebook. Go to Liquid Lunch TV on Facebook. And for today, I'm John Cronkite. Please tune in tomorrow for more Liquid Lunch at the same bat time and the same bat channel. I know it's a ridiculous saying, but that's what this other idiot says every day. See you tomorrow.